Hello guys and uh, welcome into a uh, new uh, BIOS uh, update for the uh, MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard for the uh, Ryzen 3000 CPUs especially. Uh, today it's uh, the 24th of uh, April 2020 and uh, we see that on uh, MSI's website in the uh, BIOS tab we have the uh, release of a uh, new BIOS version uh, the previous one was uh, released in November last year uh, the uh, version 35 or 350 um, and now we have the version 36 so uh, first you need to uh, enter on uh, on MSI's website in the uh, uh, driver section the uh, BIOS tab here and um, download this uh, file you will download it by clicking this arrow here I've already I've already done it, but I will do it again. And uh, you will get this uh, zip file 7C02V36, uh, which you uh, need to uh, extract it um, on a uh, USB stick, just like this one. Close all the tabs, restart the uh, PC, and press delete when uh, the uh, PC will restart. Right now, pressing delete. Okay, let's go, you, we get this uh, first uh, BIOS screen and right here you see the uh, use USB to flash BIOS and flash, uh, navigate with the mouse and click on it. You get this message, system will auto reboot and enter flash mode, click yes. The PC has uh, shut off and it will restart. Right now it enters flash mode and it has already um, seen the, uh, the USB which is connected, so it's really nice. We see that the uh, current version is V3.50. So this is the version that uh, was installed and uh, was released in November last year and right here on the USB we have the version 3.60 go with the uh, arrow and double click it once we are in the file and here it is Click on it again. Are you sure you want to select this file? It's 360. Click yes. And now the uh, BIOS 
update process begins. Please be patient, uh, don't turn the PC, don't do anything, it will take a while. Just sit back and uh, be patient. So we see right now we're at 15%. It is a uh, process that takes um, a few minutes. So uh, you can expect about uh, eight minutes or so. It's really important if you have a uh, Ryzen system to update the BIOS as soon as you are uh, aware of uh, a new version. Every time um, I, uh, I had issues in the past, um, the uh, new BIOS version um, solved a big portion of, uh, of my uh, past problems. Ever since I had the uh, last uh, year um, 11th of November um, BIOS version, I can tell you the PC ran really perfectly fine, but um, I was expecting from uh, from time to time a, uh, a new update, um, and seeing that uh, MSI really delayed it, I, um, I was pleased at least that the, the PC was operating in, uh, in uh, normal parameters but always try as best as you can to keep up to date your, uh, your system on everything and uh, that way it will, uh, it will run um, without any problems So now we're at uh, almost Again, I can uh, tell you that I'm very pleased with uh, the result. Also, I uh, would like to, to thank to one of my YouTube uh, uh, viewers um, who uh, announced me, let me know that uh, there is a new BIOS version available. Um, you can see uh, the, uh, the system runs really nice. but uh, you have to, to keep it up to date. Finally, we reached the 100%. Uh, the PC shuts down and will restart two times.
or not <laughs> or yes so basically this was the the second one <laughs> but the uh the second time it uh, rebooted um a lot uh, quieter and the revs were lower let's open uh, Dragon Center Okay, uh, since it was um, installed a new BIOS version, we need to um, also uh, set up the uh, RAM frequency back to 3200 MHz. And let's see if uh, we have the BIOS information. If not, we will enter again in BIOS. So let's restart the PC once more. Press delete. And right here up we see the uh, BIOS version 360, so it's perfect. And uh, in order to um, set the uh, memory to 3200 MHz, we only need to push this button, AXMP, on, and right now we see we have another uh, profile but uh, yeah this wasn't there in uh, in the previous version I will uh, leave it just like that in uh, in one. Let's see the uh, here we see the CPU base uh, frequency, the uh, memory, We see here that the profile 1 and profile 2 are basically exactly the same 3200 MHz CL14 so it's really no uh, difference which one uh, um, is uh, selected but basically right now you can uh, make two profiles and switch between them uh, very easy in uh, in uh, from the bias and we also have the uh, fan curve which I will uh, need to adjust uh, in the future
But yeah, this was uh, it. Let's uh, press uh, F10 to save and exit. and uh, start Dragon Center once more And now we can see the uh, remits at uh, 3200 MHz. So this was it guys. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by again on my channel. If you would like to support uh, my work please um, give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and use the uh, Amazon links you can uh, see in the description. I really hope uh, you'll have um, a system that will run perfectly smooth without any issues um, again if you have a Ryzen uh, system my advice to you is to leave everything on auto and default don't select any overclocking uh, uh, modes um, even the windows keep it in balanced mode just use the uh, AXMP profile for your RAM depending on what frequency you have it and update the BIOS, the drivers and the AMD Ryzen Master which again uh, you should keep on, uh, on default and also personally I uh, do not let the MSI Dragon Center to um, be active to boot up uh, with the uh, PC I have it installed, I only use it for uh, updating the utilities uh, but it starts only when I manually double click it. Uh, this way you will uh, have uh, a system and a CPU that will run at a CPU core voltage a lot lower than you would have with the, uh, with the Dragon Center on. That's all I can tell you um, from my past experience and in this way you won't experience any issues, any blue screens whatsoever. Thank you once more, have a peaceful and uh, quiet evening and night and I'll catch you in the next one.